today i will talk about lining services this is part of my series of lectures on hospital management this is my lecture outline first i will give introduction then i will talk about lining requirement followed by lining distribution then lining inventory and end of life then lining control committee and matrices and kpis So lining is made up of fibers, and fibers include cotton fibers, nylon fibers, woolen fibers, etc. Property of a good fiber include proper moisture, dry efficiency, surface fluffiness, strength, low flammability, low static electricity. Lining can be categorized as soil lining, which require washing; infected lining, which require disinfection and washing. foul lining which requires sluicing and washing infected and foul lining which require disinfection and washing objective of lining service is to provide adequate quantity of the right quality of lining to indoor patients and operation theaters this is lining control first of all we make lining specifications then we purchase lining then we use the lining and during use we need to segregate and sort and transport the lining then there is a concept of lining distribution and lining use and distribution in tool lining inventory and security of lining then uh, lining distribution can be centralized decentralized and mixed and finally there is end of life of lining so let us see lining requirement there is a requirement of 12 to 15 pounds of lining per bed per day and for each delivery we add 25 pounds and for each operation we add 25 pounds on an average we need six complete sets of lining per bed one is on the bed one is in transit to laundry one is in process in laundry one ready for use and one in store Lining specifications include material, color, thread count, size, description, and finish. While purchasing lining, we obtain samples. Then we test for quality by rubbing the sample between hands. Too much of stars denotes poor quality. Then we look under magnifying glass to note closeness and evenness of material. we note the firmness and finish of machining at corners we also wash it number of times to assess wearing quality so lining distribution it may be centralized decentralized or mixed so for centralized in centralized system supply all sorts of lining to all units of hospital and in this system lining can circulate from one unit to other as there is no unit specific marking and patterns of lining issue in centralized distribution may be clean for dirty exchange system topping up system exchange trolley or exchange basket system and pack system in the centralized system lining wears better and lasts long and the centralized system relieves sister in charge of ward of responsibility of storage and checking of lining now decentralized distribution sister in charge of various units of hospital or wards mark and send dirty lining to laundry and receives the marked item back it increases non nursing load on nursing staff this is disadvantage and a large number of lining is required in this system this is another disadvantage then mixed distribution here decentralization system is adopted for operation theater and private wards and there is central system for rest of the places of the hospital this mixed system appears best then lining inventory and end of life lining inventory include total of clean as well as dirty linings security of lining include proper locking of lining store 
proper sealing of containers and bags during transit, proper and accountable receipt of dining, regular physical verification of stores, periodic condemnation and replenishment system in place, proper record maintenance, and general security of hospital. Then end of life of lining, factors determining life of lining, availability of number of sets of lining. If there are more sets, the life is longer. And type of laundry system, contract system, implant system, cooperative system, lining, dental system. We will learn about laundry systems in my next lecture on laundry services. And in plant laundry system, there is longer life of lining. And type of detergent used for washing lining also determine the life of lining. About 15 to 20 percent lining becomes unusable after about three months period. And periodic condemnation and replenishment system should be in place. Then criteria for condemnation: no more than three patches in any 35 centimeter square. No repair of patches will be longer than 15 centimeter square. No more than five patches over entire piece of lining. So these are the criteria for condemnation and lining must be disinfected and washed before disposal and it is disposed of in yellow biomedical waste bags. Then lining control committee, composition of the committee include medical superintendent, finance officer, nursing in charge, staff nurse, manager of outsourced firm or CSSD as the case may be, housekeeping in charge. Functions include to study each phase of line in service, formation of written policy for line in control. This is line in policy of hospital, outlining the duties and responsibilities of all persons involved in line in service, and periodic review of the situation. So these are the functions of line in control committee. Now matrices and KPI, I will cover them along with laundry services. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.